And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the first installment of First Response Roleplay, formerly known as LS... Well, actually, that wasn't formerly known as LSPDFR Online. 5P... Five or 5Law, five, five excuse me, I'm all fucked up today. 5Law, originally known as LSPDFR Online, we changed the name. Uh, well, the creator changed the name, Tal and Lemix changed the name for legality reasons, but... Welcome back. So I know I haven't pushed out a video in a while, and I'm apologizing for that as I've had a lot going on, but here lately I have had a lot less going on, so I'm able to pump out a little bit more videos. So this one's to showcase the server that uh, First Response Roleplay is opening back up on. Um, this was actually the first community that I ever played with and actually started my 5M career, in quotation marks, on. Um, Lemix and Tal are the owners of the server. Uh, Tal and Lemix both are developers of the LSPDFR Online, now now known as Five Law um, Script, and it is now in the server. Uh, they continually make updates to it, and it's like if you were to play LSPDFR offline but online. So you have AI interaction and a bunch of stuff like that. So, anyways, we'll dive right in. I'll try to cover a lot of stuff. Uh, any you know questions that you guys have, you guys are feel free. Feel free to leave in the comments. Jesus Christ, today's not my day. Anyways, so when you boot into the server, I'll leave the Discord join link in the um, description so that you guys can join. But when you boot up the server and you get the IP, this is going to happen. So Toka Tok Tokov IP is a um, radio realism mod that you we use through TeamSpeak, uh, TeamSpeak 3. So you'll need to have TeamSpeak. Uh, once you open TeamSpeak, though... It'll be pretty easy. You'll get the TeamSpeak IP. You'll connect to the... Uh, channel switched. There you go. Uh, if you heard that, I joined, and then it'll put you automatically into the radio channel, and then when I get back in game, it'll drop that that note, that notice. So, anyways, uh, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. F1 is still the V menu. We use the V menu. I'm going to go ahead and just jump into one of my... Um, We'll do my tactical patrol. It's for SRT. So we have SRT on the server. Um, this is mainly my patrolling unit behind me, my Tahoe. Um, we do have many other vehicles. We are based off of the Durham uh, Police Department. So we have 19, or 18 chargers, excuse me, blacked out chargers, VIX, uh, interceptors, and stuff like that. Um, the fleet will expand, uh, but... As we go on for right now, that's all we got. So the server has a lot of scripts on it right now. Um, I'll try to go through them pretty simply. So if you guys look in the top right-hand corner, you're going to see 5 Law version 1.1. And then that line, and then Off-Duty. So right now, I will not be able to use the LSPDFR offline script, or now the 5 Law script. Or scripts, if you will. So what I need to do is hit T, slash, on duty, space, Leo. Now, after I hit en Enter, watch the top right-hand corner. On duty. And also, bottom left-hand corner above the mini-map, status on duty law enforcement. You are now on duty. So, that now qualifies me on the server that I can accept calls, get, you know, interact with the script, interact with AI, and do, you know, whatever job a cop would need to do. I'm also going to get my weapons load out. I almost forgot about that. Anyways. So, Trig. Let's, let's get into the other stuff. So, that's how to go on duty. So, you know, you want a car. What you're going to notice is that if you get into a car... By the way, you will have uh, vehicles that are given to you. Uh, you'll start out in VIX, and they'll be their license. Your license plate. It will be a personal vehicle. You'll be able to take it home once we get savable houses on the map. They'll probably be up here. Um, but the server is really cool in the sense that if I were to check this vehicle out and then check it back in right there, and I got off the server right here, I would load back in in the exact same place, and my vehicle would be in the exact same place I checked it in. Now, Trig, what, what do you mean check in and check out? Well, this is what it means. So right now I got in my vehicle, and I can't drive. You guys can see that I'm trying. I'm pressing W. I'm trying to get out of my parking space. Well, slash check out. Oh, wrong thing. There you go, and you hit enter. Fleet manager, your vehicle has been checked out. So now I can drive my vehicle. What that does is it lets the system know that it needs to start keeping track of your vehicle. So, if you guys look at the bottom left, it says serviced 165 miles ago and odometer is at 165. So, the server has it that as much as you drive your vehicle, it will put served or er, uh, miles on your vehicle. At a certain amount of mileages, miles or mileages, I, I don't know what you want me to fucking say. Um, at a certain amount, you know how when you guys are low on the fuel consumption, your fuel's at one and it starts emitting sparks and won't accelerate? That's kind of what happens. And you'll need to take it to one of these garages 
to get serviced. And after you get it serviced, the odometer won't reset, but the serviced odometers serviced, you know, 165 miles ago will go back to zero, and you'll have to continually do that. Over time, your vehicle will deteriorate and stuff like that. You do not have an ability to repair your vehicle on the server. You will have to go to one of these repair stations to do it. Or if your vehicle is wrecked during a pursuit or said, you know, reason, one of the admins will come and help you. Um, it's it's very simple and very easy how to, you know, do this. Now, again, so check in. Saves my vehicle, it turns it off, and it'll just sit there. And if I were to log out of the server right here and come back in, it would be right there. Same thing. It works anywhere. So when we do get houses put in, you'll be able to park your car in your driveway, check it out, and then check or check it in at your house. Walk into your house, log out, and then the next day you get on, just get in your vehicle, hop on, and check in. Or check out. Excuse me. So. Alrighty. So F5 is how to turn on your radar. My F5 button doesn't work. So what I have to do is slash S radar. Now, for those of you that don't know this new radar, I'm not going to go into deep detail. What you can go to is help and read this. Actually read this. It's only 11 pages. It's not that bad. It is actually very in-depth, and it will help you know how to work this. It's not hard, though. So if you guys just want to know the basics, toggle display, plate reader, toggle display, close, and that's it. Now... How to activate the radar, and you guys are probably going to go to UI settings. You guys are probably going to have the scale, like, fucking huge. So I recommend putting it down to, you know, whatever your recommended setting is or however you feel comfortable with it. It'll enlarge and, and put it back smaller. I kind of have this one at 60, 65. I have this one at 50, 55, and I have this one at 70. Um, just because the remote, I like it bigger. So, hey, Trig, why isn't my radar working? Okay, we'll hit the power button. It's going to do its factory reset or whatever it does, and then hold Patrol speed, no speed. So it's going to be on hold. What you want to do is hit x mint x mint It's going to allow both of these. So it's on x mint I'm going to set this one to same, and then this one to opposite. So what's going to happen is, and now I can close that by hitting escape. Uh, vehicles that are in front of me going, well actually here I'll just show you guys because this is a little confusing. A lot of people are used to sitting with their vehicle facing traffic, and I'll show you what I mean. So... I'm going to turn off my lights because I don't want to shine them. Well, not like it matters. They're alpha indigos. But um, here's the other patrol vehicles. And that yellow thing, I'll show you guys what that does here in a minute. So what you used to do is you used to sit like this, and it would get people's speed in front of you. It's not going to do that. Um, the radar does not work like that. The radar works if you sit parallel. You have to sit parallel to traffic in order to get speeds. So the vehicles in f behind me right now are going to be coming towards me. That vehicle down there is going... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So the vehicles in front of me are going to be the top one. The vehicles behind me are going to be that bottom one. So right now he's coming 27 miles an hour towards me. He's about to pass my back, so it turned off. And now he's going 12. Now that guy is 29 miles an hour. This guy is 10, 6, 24... 12, that guy is 25. See, it works like that. You can kind of get a get a feel for it. But you have to be facing uh, parallel to the traffic. So that guy is 27. All right. So you guys get how that works. So now we're going to go ahead and do a traffic stop so I can show you guys how LSPD, or 5 log, excuse me. I'm so used to saying LSPDFR online works. But I'll go ahead and show you guys how... Um, five law works so i'm gonna we're just gonna create an infraction so what you're gonna do is q is the lights and then what you have to do is hit delete now watch this so i hit delete it says hold e if vehicles taking too long to pull over they have an automated pullover on the server so you can either wait for him to pull over automatically which sometimes takes way too fucking long but there you go and say that's just dumb so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make him mimic. So shift and E is how to make them mimic. So the felon GT is now mimicking you. So I'm going to move him a little bit further up, kind of off the road a little bit, so I can make this traffic stop. Shift E is how to cancel mimicking. So I've made a mimic and I've canceled the mimic. I'm going to pull up right behind him. So yes, I know this is not the best place to do it, but it is the kind of the best place that I can do it right now. And god damn it, it's on a decline, so I can't really see his license plate. 
fuck. Okay, so there's two ways to run vehicle information, but, you know, we'll go through this. So, dispatch 0303, I'm going to be on A1011 Vespucci Boulevard. Adjacent's going to be South Rockford Drive. Nearest postal is going to be 8087. It's going to be on a black and colored, you know, whatever, whatever. And you guys can go through that if you want. I normally don't call out vehicle making models or license plates unless they start to run. Now, um, also, I love, can you guys just admire the fact that this fucking thing's a Christmas tree and I fucking love it. I fucking nut every time I see this goddamn fucking Tahoe. Anyways, um, I'm a huge fan of all blues, by the way. Um, so what you can do is you can do one of two things. I recommend doing it through the actual CAD, which you will have the link to get this CAD. Now, be advised, you can do it through the MDT radio as well. You can run the plate and run the ID, and it'll automatically pop into there. For realism purposes, I will do both. But, why the fuck? There you go. Um, but for realism purposes, I will do it through the CAD. Now, I can't see his license plate, so bear with me. Normally, we're not on a decline. 29 HOZ. So, we're going to go ahead and go into the CAD. So, 29 HOZ. It's going to autofill. So, 29 Hotel Oscar Zulu 138. Uh, it is going to be the owner of Lizzie, Lily, excuse me, Stokes. So, I'm going to go ahead and autofill that into there. And I'm going to go ahead and autofill that into here. So, she has no weapons registered. She has no... It doesn't say if she has a weapons permit, but it says she has no weapons. Uh, model is a Felon 2. It is a Felon 2. Uh, metallic Stone Silver. Okay, that, that matches. Lily Stone. Okay, Lily Stone. It's a female. Uh, 211. Her driver's license is suspended, so we'll go ahead and make an arrest today. Um, we'll just... Yeah. I'll show you guys, thankfully, how this works now. So, Lily Stokes has a suspended driver's license. Uh, driver's license type is a car. If you really wanted to get into, like, detailed RP... If they're driving a truck or a semi and it only says car, you can, you know, apprehend them and stuff like that. But we won't go into that right now. So, anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to get out. Don't honk at me. Um, we're going to go around. I don't want to get hit by a vehicle, so we're going to go around. What I'm going to go ahead and do is show you guys how to do this. So, when you walk up to the vehicle, it's the same buttons as Mimic. So, how you doing? Ma'am, I'm Officer Trigg with the Durham Police Department. The reason why I have you pulled over today is because of a video. <laughs> So shift E is how to bring up the interaction menu with a pet in the vehicle. So I'm going to say hello. Asshole. For some reason it says that. So ma'am, can I have your ID, registration, proof of insurance? Let's Lily Stokes. Okay, female. Sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and question the driver. Well, actually, I don't even need to do that, but we'll go into that. So question the driver. So the menu has multiple, multiple things that you can do. So each one of these menus has multiple options. So, you can do any of this and the ped will interact with you. So, any idea why I stopped you? I had a, I have a few ideas, haha. Okay, well, that's that's awesome. So, and you can role play this out with Alpha Indigo. So, and then moving violation. So, you have speed, you have uh, stoplights, turning, and stuff like that. So, let's just say she was tailgating. I was trying to read their bumper sticker, sorry. <laughs> I get that. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is, since she does have an expired license, I'm going to go ahead and ask her to get out of the vehicle. So, uh, um, warn, where is it? I think it's interactions, actually. Oh, order out of the vehicle. Okay, no problem. Okay, so she's going to go out. So you'd think she'd walk over here on her own free accord, but she's not going to. So what you need to do is walk over to her, and you have to hit E while looking at her. Civilian will stay there and hit E one more time. Civilian is now selected and will civilian will now follow you. So now walk over here. Try to keep her out of the uh, traffic. So I'm going to walk over here. And what I'm going to do is so she stops following now. I'm going to hit E again. Civilian will stay there. Now I can walk around and do whatever I need. So ma'am, do you understand that your license is suspended and you shouldn't be driving? Yes. Okay, sweet. So what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to place you under arrest. So I'm just going to go ahead and select her. One more time, I'm going to hit U. By the way, to interact with the civilian outside of the vehicle, the menu is U. So interactions, I'm going to go ahead and cuff her. Alright, so she's cuffed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search her. How do you search a ped? Shift and G at the same time. So hold shift and then hit G. Lower left-hand corner, broken phone, closed uh, bottle of piss washer. <laughs> Baggie of cocaine. Okay, well that's a drug. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab her now. Since I've already searched her and she has, you know, controlled substances in her possession. And I'm going to go ahead and put her in my vehicle.
Kind of buggy, but it still works. So she's in the back of my vehicle now. She won't go anywhere. All right, so Trick, how do you search a vehicle? Same thing. You walk up. There are three places to search a vehicle. Passenger side, trunk, and driver side. So if it's a four-door uh, vehicle, it's same thing. You just have to go to one side. Hit Shift and G at the same time, and you'll start searching the vehicle. So perfume envelope, mosquito repellent, golf club VIP, pre-made maze, uh, maze, bank card. Pre-made. I don't know what that means. It sounds like forgery. Nothing to search. Try again. This is a trunk. Let me search it. What do you mean nothing to search? That's weird. Okay. Maybe you can't search the trunk on this vehicle. Fuck it. I'll just take the passenger side then. So we'll search the passenger side really quick. All right. Cigarette paper, $100 bill, rusty spoon, a uh, can of sprunk. Okay. So once you're done with the vehicle, you've made an arrest, you're sufficient and fine with your, you know, your arrest and you want to be done with it. Hit shift U. It's going to be bring up your scene control. Go down to tow services. Hit enter. Make sure I cannot stretch. I cannot stress this enough. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you're pressed up against the vehicle and looking at this vehicle. Because if you're looking at your vehicle and you hit it, the tow truck's going to take your vehicle and you're going to be out of a patrol car. So look at the vehicle, press yourself up against it, hit enter, and wait. In the lower left-hand corner, there will pop up a notification here in about a few seconds. Right there. A tow truck has been dispatched to your location. Thanks for using Dave's tow. Now I'm going to back out of that menu, go to my vehicle, and I'm going to wait. If you guys look at the lower left-hand corner of the mini-map, you guys will see a blinking tow truck. That tow truck is the location of where that tow truck is. So currently that tow truck's on the highway. So he's probably going to get off this exit, take a right, probably go down this way, make her another... And then come down here. So we'll see what he does. It looks like he's... Or he's just going to go straight all the way down this way and just take the car. But either way, that's the tow trucks sometimes spawn pretty far away. So you guys are just going to have to be patient with it. Um, they do stop at stoplights. So if it takes forever, just kind of take your time. While we're sitting here, I'm going to see if this actually works. So some of these AI names don't actually work in the CAD for like reports. So we're going to create an arrest report. And I'm going to see if her name actually pops. Lily, yeah, it doesn't. So I cannot create an arrest report in the CAD for her. But if you guys look in the Discord, there's a link to a uh, jot form that I've created personally for that reason that you can fill out if you want to roleplay it further, an actual arrest report. And you guys can create an actual arrest report, like on my jot form for it. So, and that actually comes to me, Lemix, and Tal, and we're able to read, and the other department heads and supervisors, and we will actually read your arrest report. If you want to go that far, um, I like role play and I like taking it a little bit further. But at the end of the day, you know that's up to you guys completely. So the tow truck will sit here for a few seconds, put the truck on the back or the car on the back, and then it'll disappear. And now, so that's the traffic stop. Now, what I always recommend you do is, since you're done with that vehicle, hit delete. Hit delete once more, and in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see vehicle has been released that means that you can start doing traffic stops again because if you find yourself getting behind a vehicle and turning on your lights it won't work because you've already selected one vehicle and it still thinks you're on a traffic stop with that vehicle so what we're going to go ahead and do is i'm going to show you guys the jail script so we're going to go back up here by the way the department's uh postal is 8091 i believe But those are the VIX that I was talking about. I'm going to go ahead and get out right here. And what you can do is you just have to hit U. It'll automatically, because you still have the PED selected. We're going to go ahead and take her back out of the vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and select her again. Because once she gets out of the vehicle, you have to select her. So press E. I'm going to grab her. I'm going to go down to the option of Jail. I'm going to jail her. You're done. That's that's all you had to do. So that's how that, that script works. So I'll show you the shift U menu now. So we'll go ahead and... I'm thinking. Yeah, fuck it. Tell you what, guys. Since I did a little bit in the unmarked, let's actually do a marked unit and I'll get in the right uniform for the marked unit. So... We're going to go down here and I'm going to check in my vehicle because this one's seen a little bit more. This vehicle's seen a lot more action than my marked uh, SRU Charger. It's 
So we're going to go ahead and check in. I'm going to go ahead and get in the PD uniform that I wear. It might be different for different people, but this is kind of what it looks like for right now. I'm going to go ahead and check my vehicle out. We'll go ahead, just to show you guys how the lights work on this one. I like this one a little bit more sometimes. Also handles a lot better and gets up and goes a lot quicker than my uh, Tahoe. But, um, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you guys a few other things. By the way, the server does uh, ask, or base itself off of realism. So, um, we don't like people just coding everywhere. We don't like people just blowing through shit. We're going to go ahead and get that guy. Okay, well that was... We're going to go ahead and get this guy. Even though this was definitely not the best idea. I could have waited a little bit longer. We're going to go ahead and just back up. We'll go ahead and put them right there. Dispatch here 303. I'm going to be on a 1011. Nearest postal is going to be 8009 on San Andreas Avenue. Adjacent is going to be Bay City, Bay City Ave. Um, so, shift U, MDT, run plate. It'll autofill. Hit enter, lower left hand corner. LSPD base. Uh, LSPD base. Sorry about that voice crack. Reg uh, owner is Christoph, Christopher. Knox, red gear is 2015. Okay. Run ID, Christopher Knox. Uh, no warrants. Uh, born 91, 1972. Okay. So, that's how you use the MDT radio. It's quicker, it's a lot less realistic, but it still works. So, we're going to go ahead and just walk up, do our little thing with him, and then I'm going to release him and show you guys the LSPDFR online aspect of it, other than just interacting with PEDS. Um, ask for identification, Christopher Knox. All right, so question driver, moving violation. Um, unsafe, I was just daydreaming, I guess. That's fine. Um, so we're going to go ahead and actually let's do the DUI alcohol. And what does that mean? Okay, so I asked him why, you know, that. I just want to show you guys the DUI aspect of this. So if you get a PED that has a DUI infraction, or you think it's a DUI, you can go ahead and ask him to step out of the vehicle after, you know, you have probable cause to ask him for it. Or ask him to step out of the vehicle and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and get him to follow us. He's calm, so I highly doubt, you know, he's going to blow anything. But say you do, and the PED has a bunch of other stuff. Hit you interaction and you can do any one of these four you can do the hgn test you can do the walk and turn nine step walk and turn you can do the uh one leg stand and you can do the breathalyzer i just do breathalyzer so i'm gonna hit them with the breathalyzer 0, 0.00 so if you guys think there is someone with a breath you know test that comes back you know yeah so that's how you do it so i'm gonna go ahead and ask him to get back in the vehicle um jesus christ uh, ch 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 I'm going to go ahead and ask them to leave the area. I know sometimes they, yep, yeah, they walk away. But, uh, sometimes they get back in their vehicle and they'll drive away. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get in his vehicle and just DV it. There we go. So, hit delete, release the vehicle. Actually, I think I have to be in my vehicle to release it. Yep. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shift you. So, a lot of people will now know the, uh, you guys know the Alpha Indigo interactions and stuff like that. So, now you guys want to take Alpha Indigo calls, right? You guys want to be able to accept LSPDFR online or 5 law online calls. County, you will be assigned to one of two districts. There is county calls, but we are going to keep you guys within District 1 District 2 for a certain amount of time. Um, District 1 is by the businesses. District 2 is more, um by the housing developments so district one i could be wrong actually don't quote me on that um so we're going to do a district one call so what you go down to is you select the county you don't have to hit enter you just look at the county we'll hit enter just in case well actually you do have to enter enter di disregard so hit enter and then status go to 10 8 and then there should be a call that pops up in the lower left x to accept b to decline the calls get kind of um repetitive 
So just a heads up on that. Um, we should have a call in the next two seconds, actually. No? Maybe? Kind of? Normally they pop up pretty damn quick. I guess not. Man, the one time Trig's fucking up. Trig is fucking up today. Uh... After you're done with the call, make sure you guys hit calls code 4. Why the fuck? Ah, there we go. So traffic crash. We'll go ahead and accept that. So caller reported a car hit the guardrail. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and attain to that. Normally I wouldn't code to this kind of stuff. At least code 3. I'd maybe code 2 or something. I don't know. Really just depends on the officer's preference. I'm playing on a keyboard, by the way. That's why it looks like I'm on, like, on crack. I play on keyboard. I like keyboard way better, way better than controller. Travel times take fucking forever. And we're just gonna open up. Dispatch zero three oh three, you can show me ten ninety seven. Throw me a bus. Alrighty, so this is kind of what an AI call is. Ow, my head. All right, so we already asked for medical. The vehicle's flipped. All right, sir. So we're going to go ahead and ask for his ID. Dick does not exist. Okay, I tried selecting you. There we go. So civilian appears calm. Interaction. I'm going to ask for his ID. I'm going to go ahead and run his ID, too. Um, MDT radio, run ID. It's going to be Rudin Hill, Hull. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, yes, this is not the best place to be doing this. Also, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Traffic control. It's amazing. I'm going to go ahead and slow traffic. So if you guys look at the mini-map, it's a little yellow circle, and now traffic's going to move extremely slow. Instead of doing that, I'm just going to hit stop traffic. And all traffic is going to stop because I don't want this guy to get hit. So we're going to go ahead and go to questions. I'm going to go ahead and do DUI investigation. Uh, you're a, a witness. You caused an accident. You do realize you're over the road. Why are you slurring your words? Fine, I will, will, won't talk to you then. Okay, so he is slurring his words, so probably uh, probably a DUI. Why are your eyes so bloodshot? I partied pretty damn hard. Okay, uh, sir, do you consent to a breath test? Sweet, you do? Awesome. So, sir, go ahead and blow into this tube until I tell you to stop. Go ahead and blow, 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 blow. Oh, fuck, I clicked the wrong thing again. Uh, go ahead and blow, 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 blow. 0.35. All right, sir, so at this time, do you mind placing your hands behind your back? You're under arrest for DUI. Actually, I can't really charge him with a breathalyzer sample. I'd have to do an intox sample uh, because sometimes the, uh, well, a lot of the time, uh, the breath test is not correct. Um, we'll get into that later. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and search him. Uh, packing tape, bottle of pills, small bag of weed, bag of powder. Okay. Well, we can test the bag of powder here later. So we're going to go ahead and grab him. We're going to go ahead and put him in the back of my vehicle. We're going to have to take him to the medical facility. Sadly, there isn't script for that. So we're just going to take him straight to jail. But if hopefully in the future there will be a script for those people that say they uh, are, hurt, are hurt due to a uh, collision or, you know, something like that. And they want to go to the hospital or need medical attention. We can take them to the hospital, get them checked in, get them checked out. And the hospital will either, either say they're going to keep them for the night or they're going to release them back to us because they're cleared. So... Um, we're going to go ahead and go to the tow services, dispatch tow, back out of that menu, wait till the option pops up. Alrighty, so, tow truck's coming. We're going to go ahead and get back in our patrol vehicle. I'm going to move my car out of the road, and we're going to go ahead and just wait for the tow truck. A lot of traffic. Jesus. We're 
gonna go ahead and just move a little bit closer. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and resume traffic now. And let all these cars go through. Um, ugh. Alright, well I got, you know what, fuck it. Don't actually do this when you're on the server, please. This is just me being irresponsible, but not wanting to take the time to actually fucking deal with everything. Alrighty! Go ahead and take him out of the vehicle. Ugh, he went to the other side. Sometimes that happens. All you gotta do is walk over and hit take out. There we go. You interaction grab. All right, sir. You have a blessed day. Enjoy. Boop. And then you're done. That's pretty much it. And then shift you go to the MDT radio. Shit. MDT radio calls code four, and then you can put yourself back ten eight. But I will not. That is the server. In all honesty, and once we get civs on, you guys will have, you know, civs to also interact with, and you guys will have role plays to do. But if no one's on, you still have something to do. Um, yeah, it's kind of boring sometimes, but at the end of the day, it's still fun. I enjoy it. I get on after a long day at work, and I just play around. Um, but, yeah. So, that's the server. <laughs> I hope this helped you guys... In some form or fashion, if you have any questions about how the script actually works or anything like that along those lines, please don't be afraid to reach out and tell me. Um, I'm here to answer y'all's questions or to get on with you and train you guys if you want to become part of the department. If you look for the uh, Discord, it'll be in the description. And if you'd like to get on and play, I'm normally on every night around 9 Eastern for about 2 or 3 hours, depending. So I can't wait to see you guys, and I hope you guys have a blessed day. Stay safe.